Time to make the jaws. So I'm going to heat treat them now, I'm going to harden and temper them, so to prevent any uh, stress around the hole when I quench it, due to the thinner section I've uh, put in a pin, so that should even out the quenching and reduce any stress around the hole. Okay, so I've actually got some quenching oil here. So the idea is just to uh, initially preheat them at a, a low flame, get them warmed through, heat them up to a bright cherry red, and then put the flame back to a low flame and just keep the temperature at that bright cherry red for a few minutes to let them soak, uh, and then quench them. Okay, so they're nice and hard, give them a bit of a polish, okay to tamper them I'm just going to use my hot plate so I'm just going to put a bit of flat bar on there to make the temperature rise a little bit slower, a little bit more gentle. Okay, let's start it off on a three and a half. So we're going to go for a blue colour, which is around about 300 degrees C, I think, and around about 55 Rockwell C, I think. Okay, that's it, a nice straw colour there now, and it's been soaking for about uh, 30 minutes. I've moved it away from the centre of the hob because there's actually no element underneath it, the centre of the hob. So we'll put on a 5, and we'll just leave it there for half an hour. Okay, they've been sitting there about half an hour. So they're a nice blue colour there. 
So they're still flat, they haven't distorted at all by the looks of it. Time to make the jaw retainer. Okay, so we need to make some springs. I've got some bronze spring wire, which is uh, 0.45 millimeters diameter. So I'd normally wind springs in the lathe, but this uh, bronze spring wire is quite easy to to uh, manipulate. So I'm just going to do it in the vise. It's a bit tricky. So as my former, I'm just going to use a 0.3, sorry, a 1.3 millimeter drill. Plenty of tension on. <clears throat> Just start winding. Trying to keep it pretty close and as even as possible. It's not perfect, but I think it's good enough. This is the part that uh, I've just turned. Drop that in there. Yeah, we'll trim that off. Okay, there's a little uh, forming tool I've made to switch the end over. Uh, the little pin fits in there. The pin's 2.5 diameter. It's got a little dimple in the end for the bolt to locate in. So this is where you need a, a few extra balls because I've probably got six on the floor. I've already done the previous one. Right, first time. Give it a top. More. See what happens. That's looking good. So this has got a, um, a 90 degree corner sink in. And the taper on the end of here was about 30 degrees or so. Just by eyeball. So that seems to work pretty good. Time to drill and tap the hole for the jaw retainer. So I've locked tighted a pin in the jaw, so it fits in there like that. So we need to put a dimple 
if I can find the pot I've just made, there it is. Yeah, we need a dimple in there for the, the bowl to go into. So I'm just going to fit that into there. So this was drilled 4.2. It's a tapping size for, five, for M5. So I'll just put that in. Maybe a bit more. Try that. Screw that down until it's tight. Back it off slightly. Okay. The idea of the slot was to put a screwdriver in to extract it. However, with high insight, it's not really needed unless this ball had a stronger spring behind it. Oh, but I'm quite happy with that. Brass jaws as well. I haven't finished putting the pin on these ones yet. I've got some aluminium ones. These are a bit thicker. I made these thicker so that I can machine them down from time to time when they get deformed. So it's just a case of take that one out. Put that one in. It's quite nicely held there. So yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So we'll just do a quick test. That has got a lovely grip. That's just great. And the jaw doesn't wobble around. They come together nice. Just perfect. <laughs> 